Hey everyone. With the exception of using form tools, I think parting is probably one of the most demanding operations you can do on a small lathe, and these small benchtop lathes really aren't optimal for the job. However, one trick I've seen a lot of people do is spin the lathe in reverse and mount the tool upside down to get better results. Now my lathe won't do reverse, but with the new T-slots, I can make a rear cutoff tool post which should achieve the same results, and I want to see if it parts any better. Similar to the quick change tool post, I'll be making a new riser platform for my parting tool post. The aluminium that I'm using is just a leftover piece from a previous project, and I only needed to face it and bring it to the correct height. In a perfect world, I'd really want to make this from steel, but due to recent events in my part of the world, meant I had to use what I had already in the workshop. The mounting holes for the T-slot nuts were marked out and drilled, as well as the hole to mount the cut-off tool post. The tool post that I'll be using will be borrowed from my Sherline lathe, and it fits the same parting blades that I typically use in my tool holders. The first test will be done with some brass. Brass is very easy to part, so I'll just be doing this to check for center line alignment. And it looks like the parting tool is on center line, so let's do the first test, which will be done with some steel. Steel is typically one of the hardest materials to part, and I usually do it with a hacksaw. And whilst it's cutting a lot better than before, this lathe is still struggling a bit. I'm running the lathe as slow as I can, and I think it's still too fast for the steel. To see if it would make any difference, I switched the blade out for a higher rate parting blade, which I typically reserve for using on plastic. And to my surprise, it worked surprisingly well, though I can still tell that the lathe is running a little bit too fast. I was also a little unhappy with the position of the tool post. So I added a new mounting hole so I could mount it closer to the chuck. Unfortunately, due to a bit of an oversight on my part, this resulted in a slight overhang with the new position, so it's not going to be as rigid as it could be. The final thing I want to machine is aluminium. Realistically, I'm going to be machining a lot of aluminium, so I would want it to machine aluminium quite well. And surprisingly, the positive rake blade is having a lot of problems with the material. It's really gumming up and sticking to the edge even with some proper coolant. So I switched back to the zero rate tool and I actually got some really decent results. Now having used this tool post for a few weeks, on the whole I've come to the conclusion that I don't think it parts a whole lot better than it did before. The new cross slide really improved rigidity, but on the whole I don't think it does it a whole lot better using the rear cut off tool post. What is better though is in this orientation, the tool doesn't get caught and pulled into the workpiece. And that can easily happen on these small lathes, and when that happens, the lathe will typically stall and you can easily scrap your workpiece right then and there. 
So I'm actually pretty happy with the results that I've been getting. Now since I don't part all that often, I'll probably leave this riser block in place and I'll attach the tool post when I need it. Anyway, that's it from me this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. See you next time.